Okay, we're recording. Uh, this is a uh, an email, a picture that Rob Ryder sent me on his uh, Joe pipe replication. And uh, what you see before you is a uh, one inch by ten inch pipe. Uh, he has his air uh, his fuel line coming into his air line, actually using an elbow. So his air is going into the elbow and it looks like he has his uh, propane coming into the side of the elbow. But I want you to look at the funnel that uh, he uh, upgraded the jaw pipe by making a little swirl device out of a socket and that's which which is actually setting just above the about a half inch above the where the air comes in at the base but you actually see a, a tornado in a pipe and he was saying on his email this is just from very recent the last couple of days that uh, his hand was uh, five feet away and it, it was as far as he could bring it and in this particular uh, instance uh, Rob is using six ounces of propane per hour or he did, did a two hour test at uh, six, uh, 12 ounces of propane and this little device here is putting out probably at least the amount of a furnace or maybe double of a regular furnace very very high efficient efficiency so I'm just going to scroll up here I won't scroll up okay there's a that's just a little device there where you can see the spark plug socket here or the plug or the socket there and you can see the little pieces of copper that he has epoxied on that creates the uh, swirl that's his pipe and it's running there it's pretty hard to see the flame that's the other side so you can see the that the copper portions are set at a 60 degree angle every 60 degrees I just want to read you the email it says uh, hi Joshua I haven't seen any new videos lately on the Joe, Joe pipe you did mention you might have access to a shop soon and uh, I do have a shop now hope so I really want to see a usable version of the Joe pipe I recently made a one inch model and did something different for the air nozzle. I took a 17 millimeter socket and epoxied six pieces of copper wire on the outside in a spiral fashion pattern. After they dried up, I filed down the copper until it was just until it just fit in the in the pipe. Uh, crude and far from perfect, it was still I was still surprised by how manageable it made the flame. And, uh, and some of the things I saw. Maybe you can have your shop make a helical cut plug to try in, to try in one of your systems. The mix is against the hot walls uh, prior to burn. And it gives a nice vortex effect down the center. I have a 10 inch piece of black pipe with an elbow threaded on about an inch up the pipe. It's a propane inlet and about half inch above that I drilled three small holes and hammered in some small wing shank nails. They are what the nozzle sits on. Here are a few pics. Give me your thoughts. By the way, I ran it like you see in the pics for two hours on about 12 ounces of propane. See ya, Rob Raider. And uh, you just sent me a link today about a modification that he did to the system and uh, 
So I'm going to see if we can access it here. Let's go back on this. Go to his most recent. This is today, his picks today. Joshua, here are some picks from my from last night. I wrapped uh, pipe on foil and also replaced elbow with T. So he actually wrapped in foil around the pipe, which uh, puts the uh, heat back into the Joe pipe, which actually actually enhances the flame process, gets it hotter. And as you can see, he has his air here, it looks like, and his propane coming in on this side. So that's uh, an improvement. And this is what really fascinates me. Look at this spin. You can actually see the lines of the vortex. And you actually got your uh, your baby blue and your dark blue. And when I first discovered the Joe Pipe in the summer of, 19, of 2005, I've actually seen these colors that at the time they made up five bands of, uh, of, of torsion energy. But here you get, you're getting your, your, your two bands here in a helix fashion.